In this video, you'll see Onyx's first off-leash training session in Arcanine, which is our off-leash training program, and you'll see how we condition him and introduce him to the e-collar. You'll learn about the philosophy behind it, why we do it this way, and how it works. Hopefully, you take away a thing or two. Before we begin, I have to say, after watching this video, do not go out and buy an e-collar for your dog. The e-collar is not a shortcut, it's not a band-aid solution, it's not a quick fix, it's not going to improve your dog's behavior, it's not going to improve their obedience, it's not going to change anything about your dog. Alright, so don't go out and buy an e-collar after watching this video. If you're going to use the e-collar, work under the guidance of a professional because it's a powerful tool and you can fuck up your dog if you don't know what you're doing. Enjoy the video. So basically with the e-collar, what it is, is it's a way to apply pressure at a distance. So the leash and the prong right now is just your tools to apply pressure. And it's pressure that the dog understands because it's pressure with direction, right? You make pressure in one way, he understands that to turn it off, he just goes in that direction, right? It's easy for him to grasp. But for the e-collar, it's pressure with no direction. So it's just pressure, right? So you can imagine what that's like. Pressure with no direction. Stress. Yep, just stress. Yep, so he has to understand like fully and completely how to turn it off. Otherwise, uh, he's just gonna get stressed out and nothing productive is gonna happen uh, with the training. All right, so the first order of business is conditioning him to the e-collar, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna teach him that the default response is to turn and come to us. So we just want him to be able to feel the stem, even if we're not around or he doesn't hear anything from us, he understands that when he feels that, if he doesn't get any other direction from us to turn it off, come to you. And that's it, and the pressure goes away, okay? Recall. Yep, default recall. All right, ready? All right, yes. All right. nope, we're gonna do this on you. Ooh. Oh, yep, uh-huh. <laughs> These are the contact points. You just have to make sure this is touching skin. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to find what's called your working level. So your working level is your lowest perceptible level. Okay. You barely register it. Okay. Barely, okay? And the working level is what we're going to use when we start doing the conditioning. When we're teaching you, in this case, how to turn off the pressure, but when we're teaching him to turn off the pressure as well. So the working level is going to be different for every dog and every situation. So you're at this park, it might be a little bit different than if you're at downtown Bellevue, right? All right, and for every dog it's different. They all have different sensitivities. So on something like the mini educator, you can see you have all the numbers here. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yours is probably gonna be between like a, maybe like a, most dogs are between like a six and a 12-ish, like around there. It kind of varies a lot, all right? But you're going to go ahead and tell me. I'm going to go through the levels. And you tell me once you can feel it, all right? Yeah. All right. It should feel like a slight uh, tingle sensation. <laughs> no dice. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay. Maybe, I think. Maybe you can hear it. Okay. Okay, there we go. There? Yes. There? Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Do you feel it? Yeah. Yeah? It's very, very... Very faint? Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Got it. Okay. All right. So then that would be your working level. So now we can go ahead and begin the recall training essentially so what we're looking is where if when we do this on him and we find his working level you'll see it but we're just looking for a slight change in behavior you know maybe he his mouth is open and then he closes it right maybe maybe he was looking one way and then he looks another way right just these slight little things that's what you want to see no big reactions you shouldn't be like oh shit right not that yet okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's intense okay you feel that yeah okay you feel it right yeah Okay, so you can tell me when it's on. Yes. All right, good. So now to begin the recall stuff, what I'm gonna do when I lift my hand, well, you should be able to feel the stem, but when I lift my hand, that's when the stem is gonna be on. When I drop it, that's when I release the button. So when the hand is up, my finger's on the button and it's holding it down. Okay. When it's down, I release it. Okay. All right? Is that for 
me? Yep, this okay. is for you. So this is for you to see. You can feel it, and then you can also see it okay. visually, okay? So just to show you how this process is gonna go, you're gonna be kind of just drifting around, minding your own business. I'm gonna make pressure. Helen, off. Good, right? And then I'd praise and reward you, okay? So we're walking around again. You're drifting off. Helen, off. Good, right? Exactly like that. So all we're doing, we're just, it's just negative reinforcement, right? It's just like with the prong, we're just going tap, 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 if he doesn't listen to the recall. That's all it is. Just pressure, you give him direction with a command he already knows. Once he completes the command, off. Boom, that's how you win. That's how you turn off the pressure. Okay. Right? Are you also doing that visual cue for him as well? No, 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 this is just for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> so for him, here's like what it would look like. My hand would probably be like in my pockets if I was actually training this. And we'd just be walking around. Wait till you sort of drift off and I'm not paying attention. There we go. Helen, off. Good, right? Just like that. So we're just using the recall to bridge the gap. Uh, and help them understand what this is, okay. right? what the pressure is. And that's it, okay? Now you're gonna practice on me. Mm. <laughs> All right, so the button you hold, hold that in your right hand, yeah? And the button you push is the one on your pointer finger, so that black one right there. Right, because mm -hmm. that sounds like a constant. That one is the, it's a plus five, it's a boost button. Oh. So it'll just plus five it, uh-huh. Yikes, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, really so just, yeah, yeah, turn it down all the way, and then you're gonna wanna find my working level, okay? All right, so you just go ahead and go through the levels, and I'm, I'm Onyx, I'm just drifting off, not paying attention to you. And you're gonna go through, tap, tap, tap the buttons until I show some type of reaction. There. Okay. Okay. I went up on. I went up high on purpose. I could feel it earlier. The reason why I did that is so you could overcome that feeling of when it's usually on a number, but he's not feeling it, and you have to go higher, right? Because this is going to happen. What you'll notice with the e callers, what people tend to do is they get attached to the numbers, so okay. they'll be like, "Yesterday he was at a six. He doesn't feel a six right now. He must be at a six, though. That's what we've been working on, right? Okay. You have to release the numbers and go up in that instance and find his working level in that environment. Okay. The numbers aren't going to be constant all the time, okay. right? Okay. Are you okay? We're good. <laughs> What's it at? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's the kind of the purpose of it. All right. So now let's go ahead and work on the the recall stuff. Okay. So I'm walking around, I'm Onyx, you're gonna work on your timing. The timing is pressure, command, and then release once I complete the command. So in the case of the recall, it's when I go from this to this. Okay. That's when you release, okay? okay. So you it's the same, the time you release it is the same time you would mark okay. and reward. And is it, so when you hold it down, is it giving pressure consistently? Yep. Yeah, when you hold it down, it's pressure consistently. If you want to do a tap, tap, you just tap, tap the button. Okay? All right, so let's work on the timing. So it's going to be constant. So just raise your hand up, pressure, 
and then command, and once I complete the command, release. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and work on it. Release. Okay, let's go again. There you go. Okay, let's go again. Yeah, she's saying it very quietly under her breath. Sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, say it all up. Good. There you go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's go again. There you go. Okay, good. Good timing. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to get in a bunch of these reps, and we're just going to teach them that that pressure is the same pressure as like leash pressure. It's the default response, right? You feel the pressure, turn and come, you get paid every time. There's going to be lots of treats and stuff in this. Okay? All right. So now time to move to the actual beast. <laughs> might. I th think he might. Yeah, let's go ahead and walk around here. Not really seeing what I'm looking for. Not really there either. So I'm going to go up to a uh, not really there. And he's peeing. And we take a pause. Good boy. Good potty. Okay, I'm not really seeing what I'm looking for, and I'm going up. I went up to like a 12, so that gives me an indication that it's not making contact because I have context. I know that Onyx is relatively sensitive to pressure, right? right? Especially pressure from the prong. So I have a feeling he'd be sensitive to this pressure. Yeah. So. Just the fact that he's not feeling it at this level yet is like, mm, probably it's something else, right? Okay. So probably the points aren't making consistent contact, so let's go ahead and fix that instead of going up further in levels, right. right? So this is the same sort of process you would do too. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. And this, this is the biggest pain in the ass in e-collars is getting consistent contact. But what will help you is that bungee will help you. Okay. And then these contact points that I'll send you will help you as well. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. All right, so I'm going to go back down. He was at a 10, and he was giving me a little bit more than what I was looking for, right? I don't, I didn't want any like, I kind of, I tapped it and he was like, ooh, and he like sat down and I tapped it again. He was like, ooh, right? I don't want it to be that uncomfortable. I just want it to be like barely noticeable, right? Okay, so we're going to go back down. We're going to roll at a nine and we're going to see how this goes. And I'll go ahead and start off the conditioning and then I'll hand it over to you and then you take over. So here we go, starting the e-collar conditioning. When my hand is up, the pressure is on. When it's down, it's off, okay? Oh, I forgot to mention, if he blows off the recall at any time, if like you're making pressure and he just doesn't come, you're just gonna make pressure with the leash. That's it, so that's why the leash is on at this point. This is not a toy. <laughs> All right. 
Onyx! Chup. Good boy! Good job. You can see he felt it there. It almost like he like kind of froze in his tracks and was like, what is that? That's what you want it to be. You want it to be confusion. It shouldn't be like extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, just confusion. Onyx! Chup. Good boy! Good job! Very nice. Good. Okay. Leave it. Good. Onyx! Chup. Good boy! Good job! And you can see there like even though I said onyx, he still like kind of stayed at the ground for a little bit and was still smelling around. That's because this pressure is so low. It's not, it's very light negative reinforcement. So we're pretty much relying on his recall at this point, but that's why we have the leash on to provide that additional layer of negative reinforcement in a way that he understands, right? Because he doesn't, if we just go up on the pressure when he ignores the recall, it's not gonna work out, yeah. <clears throat> Onyx! Chup. Good boy! Good job, buddy! Very nice! Good job! Good! So right now, just for reference, he is at a 10. With, with the level of competing motivators we're at, with all these smells on the ground, in this day, in this environment, right? This is where he's at. Onyx! Chup, good boy! There we go. And I kept the pressure on that whole time. If you notice, my hand was up the entire time. The pressure was just on. I was just holding it. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. I'll do one more and then I'll hand it over to you. Onyx! Chup, good boy! Good job! Right? And then you just complete the recall as usual. Okay? So when you release the pressure, you release the pressure at the same time you chirp, basically, if you want to keep the timing right. All right? There you go. Nice. Uh-huh, you did feel that one. Go, go, go down like one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it at? It was at 10. It was at 10? Now you're at a nine? Good job. Very good. This week, all we're going to do is e collar recalls. Okay. And that's it. that's it. Okay? That's it. Okay. okay? For this entire week, just e collar recalls. You're going to work on your timing. You're going to get your reps in with him. And by next week, I want him to have a really solid understanding of the pressure, how to turn it off, right? Just sort of if he gets it. What you should be able to do, if you know, <laughs> you'll know you're doing it right 
when you can just make the pressure and he might turn to come without you even saying anything, right? If he starts to do that, then you really know you got it, okay? okay? Got it. Uh, that's all we're doing this week. Okay. E-call or recalls. For the first, like, several days, I just do the come every time, every time. But when you're, like, ready to test it a little bit, right, just kind of, like, walk around and just make the sim and make, more, make a big delay between when you say the come command, right? So just hold it down and then Onyx come, right? just give him a chance, right? Okay. See what he does. What I like doing for like this sort of thing is I'll come out to a dog like in a park like this and we'll just clip on the long line. We might do some play or something. We might play some fetch and then we'll take a break. I'll put the toy away and then we'll do some e-call or recalls, right? That's it. We'll just let him kind of zone out, check out, hold down the button, recall. There you go, right? You can go to, um, we do this in Discovery Park too, in Seattle. Oh, I don't know wow. if you've ever been. Isn't that one like really crowded all the time? Uh, probably not this time of year. Um, but yeah, there's like little back trails and stuff. They're like very wide trails. Yeah. Uh, but you can go like have them on a long line, have them like explore, smell all the smells and stuff. Yeah. And just randomly like on your walk, you know, hold it down, onyx gum, boom, there you go. Get the reps in that way and he gets to explore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <coughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's all the that's all the plan is for this week. Okay. Just e-collar recalls. Just e-collar recalls and what I also want you to work on is healing around distractions okay. just on the regular leash and stuff. Okay? Yeah, you got it. All right. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan. All right. Any questions? Yeah.